Hello, students. This is Professor Del Russo, and we are continuing with Chapter 4 in Professor Poole's book on the science of interviewing. And the first thing that I want to share with you is pre-interview preparation. We talked about some of the things that you can set up ahead of the interview. Now we're going to talk about the team meeting. That is, ideally, you want to meet with the child protection worker, maybe the municipal police officer, certainly the forensic interviewer, maybe the case detective. You want to meet with the interested parties and go over the referral or the information that you received about the allegation of abuse. And that's what we call the pre-interview team meeting. This is a critical stage in interview preparation. You need to understand what to expect and the way to understand what to expect is to learn as much as you can about the kid and the case. Now, it's important to appreciate that there are some who advocate for a blind interview. And by a blind interview, what we mean by that is some experts and some academics argue that it is best for a forensic interviewer to know nothing about the case, to go in there blind, so to speak. And the reason is some people believe that if you go in there knowing about the kid or the case, you're going to be more likely to be misleading. You're more likely to suggest things to the child. You're more likely to have a bias or a point of view. There's some wisdom in that, but I strongly believe that knowing as much as you can about the kid and the case is critical to doing a good interview. And the advantages from a pre-interview team meeting the advantages of knowing about the child and about the case dynamics far outweigh the potential to be misleading or biased. That's just a question of doing a better interview. Interviewers have to be better at, they have to be expert at not letting their feelings get in the way of a good interview and not letting their questioning be the kind of questioning that can be misleading or influence the child's memory or recollection. The answer isn't to go in there blindly. I think we'll miss a lot more true cases if we go in there blindly than if we know about the kid and the case. 